We're rolling. All right, here we go. If you were developing a video to recruit physicians to Iowa, how would you start the video? In the opening, I would say you have to come and see it uh, to believe it. Um, you shouldn't discount coming to Iowa just based on any preconceptions. Once you get to Iowa, it's, it's hard to leave. I've been here 17, 17 and a half years and uh, didn't think I'd be here this long. But uh, the people, the patients, um, so many things about Iowa keep me here. I think I'd probably open with, if you wanted to live somewhere where you could practice medicine with fellow colleagues who you could trust, patients who are receptive and fairly well versed in understanding, and a place where your family could be raised safely, then you need to come to Iowa. I came here to start a practice. In fact, when I came, I didn't take over someone's practice. I had to start it from the ground up, and it's a great place to do that. So it's a great place to start a practice because you get these relationships for life, but I think it's a great place to finish a practice because my patients give me back almost as much as I give them. Iowa has a reputation, and a well-earned reputation, the Commonwealth Fund and others have documented it, that the quality of care by a number of metrics is in the top 10% in the country, and the cost of care is in, is in the lowest quartile in the country. So we practice, in general, as a state, effective, and efficient medicine. It is fulfilling to practice medicine in Iowa. Um, I have considered going other places at different times, but um, I haven't found any place else that offers more than, than I have here uh, in practicing medicine in Iowa. I feel like it always goes back to the patients, my peer physicians, and uh, the resources that we have in the state. I am an active member of the Iowa Medical Society. I also participate in the Legislative Committee of the Iowa Psychiatric Society. Uh, I do um, some work for the Iowa Physicians Health Program, and that's, the, um, that's a program that's designed to um, support and advocate for physicians who are dealing with impairment issues. So with an aging population, especially one that wants to be active and vigorous and, and helpful, they're going to need a lot of medical care to help them through that. So not only able to sustain a medical practice, it'll grow with an aging population. If you go into our smaller communities, you'll see doctors from diverse backgrounds all working together in small communities and everybody just accepts them. So I think a lot of it is acceptance of each other too. And acceptance of different types of physicians and that we have a lot more diversity than they may show in the national news. Atomo for us was, was the opportunity that I was looking for. Uh, another facet was that uh, in a place this size it's easier for one person to have an impact over time and I wanted to be involved in, in the development of the, of the medical community and trying to um, help it into the whatever the next generation brought and to be a little bit politically active. What I do every day, I really feel affects the community as a whole. Uh, if there's a healthcare system, uh, system change we need in our hospital, where in a big system it may take weeks to implement uh, or months, sometimes I can make the change overnight. If I see something needs improved, uh, we just go through and make it. Iowa is the best well-kept secret when it comes to quality practice in healthcare. And that secret is something that I would like to share with the other physicians who are seeking to find a place wherein they can not only enhance their skills, but practice the way they want to practice. And just like us, have that well-balanced that well -balanced lifestyle. They're looking at Iowa on a national level to model healthcare in the entire country over what we do in Iowa. And if the whole country wants to make their healthcare system run like it does in Iowa, why not just come to Iowa and practice? We're already doing it here. People in Iowa have a great work ethic, and that's proven by the fact that how many times if you have employers out in other states, like for example, California, New York, other states, they're always trying to recruit Iowans to go to work for them because they have such a great work ethic. So you're gonna get a great workforce to work for you too. I think physicians want to hear that they will have a successful practice that's well supported by the community, by the larger hospital institution in general, um, but still being able to maintain a good family life, a good quality of life, 
And I think you find that in Iowa communities. I think you find quality health care, busy practices, uh, well-balanced family life where you can get home and still have plenty of family time. People kind of look down their nose at Iowa and say, oh, that's the Midwest and you don't get paid very well in the Midwest. And I, frankly, I don't think that's true at all. I think the numbers in Iowa really stand up really well against, against other parts of the country. Um, and then with our cost of living, I, I think it's a no-brainer. I think you actually do considerably better in Iowa than you do, than you do elsewhere. You cannot beat the education in Iowa on so many levels. Not only are um, our tests consistently one of the best in the nation, our teachers are scored some of the highest in the nation. It's a great place to live. Um, the, uh, some of the lifestyle and the housing and the uh, cost of living is not as high as it is in other places. And I think after a long run, that makes a big difference. What was stressful for us in California was really that, that, that time away from the family. Because we were commuting, it was a very crowded community, just to get to the store to get basic groceries <laughs> was, was a project in itself. That was stressful for me because I did not have time for my personal needs, for my, you know, to be able to attend to family needs. I, I, I just felt that it was all about work. The pollution, the crime, you know, bringing up a, a, a daughter to full-time working parents. Ride my bicycle across the state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Iowa is, is a home of the biggest bike ride uh, in, in the country, I think possibly in the world. You know, we have every July, we have 10,000 people who ride their bicycle across the state of Iowa. How can you have a whole state of people that are so nice? And I think that's what takes us back year after year. You know, I've, I've done this for nine years of riding across the state and, and uh, you know, that, that introspective approach that you always take of why the heck am I doing what I'm doing? And, and then you figure out because you really, really enjoy getting out there and, and being welcomed by the, by the people of Iowa and experiencing the people of Iowa. In my community, every Sunday night in the summer, there's a music concert that's put on by an arts group. And they've really, over the last 10, 15 years, increased the quality and people bring picnic baskets, glass of wine or lemonade. And you can look around on a Sunday night at 6.30, the birds are chirping and deer are running around the background and listen to music and your friends are all out there and you go, it doesn't get any better than this. You've got restaurants, you've got the culture and theater, um, but you've also got the family parks. So you got this, that small town feeling where you feel like your kids can go out and enjoy and meet new friends and go out and play in the yard and you're not, you know, with the binoculars going, who are they talking to? There's fishing, there's hunting, there's skiing, there's arts, there's opera, there's, you know, you name it. It's in Iowa and it's close and it's easy to get to and it's just, it's kind of hassle-free living. I live on a, an acreage. So I live on a little, and we have a little hobby farm. So I have my practice as a physician, but at home I have chickens and I have peacocks and I have goats and horses and, and so I have a, a little farm, but I live right outside the city, um, so I have that great quali quality of life. What we don't have are external stresses that are, un that are in many ways unnecessary. We don't have hour-long commutes. We don't have lots of smog and congestion. We don't have people so cheek by jowl that we can't stand to be next to one another. Um, we have our problems, sure, but but not those kinds of stresses that characterize metropolitan life. Healthcare is affordable in Iowa, housing is affordable in Iowa, schools are affordable in Iowa, and you're close to about everything. I don't, with the exception of an ocean, there's just really not much in Iowa that you can't do. You know, you have to go back to the uh, field of dreams line that, that uh, uh, is this heaven? No, it's Iowa, but <laughs> you know, I, I, I love that movie and, and I think it's, it's a, a wonderful line. I think what they, they find is that all of the things that are important to, uh, to them in life is, is really what Iowa is all about. And I think, yeah, this is, this is heaven. This is the ideal situation that you really do want to be practicing in. Well, if a physician was really interested in medicine, Iowa is a great pr place to practice medicine. Iowa, a practice worth living, means that it's a great place to practice medicine because of our great patients, our great medical community that supports each other. You know, I think when you come down to what makes Iowa 
great it is it is the people of Iowa. Um, it is not the kind of place you're probably going to come here to vacation, but I tell you what, it's a place you're going to want to live. This is an area where if you reach out to someone, that, that they reach back. Iowa, a practice worth living. Well, that sounds good. It really, truly kind of nails it, you know. It's a great place to practice. It's a great place to live. What more could you ask?